Can you tell our readers, Doctor, um, a little bit more about ADHD? Um, do you know what causes it? Well, ADHD, first of all, is the most common neurobehavioral developmental disorders seen in kids in America. It's also one of the most common psychiatric conditions in people of all ages. So ADHD is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and it's people who have difficulty with sustaining attention. They get distracted easily. They may be forgetful or disorganized. They may have trouble moderating their emotional or behavioral responses. They may get worked up and may be hyperactive. They may fidget and pace. They may talk too much. They may blurt things out and have trouble controlling their impulses. Right. Very. Here it is. They react game ball. Just having problems in the classroom, just sitting still, um, concentrating, finishing work. He was just all bouncing all over the place, just having problems with, you know, just participation in class because he would be one minute distracted with one thing, one minute doing something else, the next minute doing something else. So, um, Giselle, on the medication, how did his behavior change? It was like night and day, pretty much. He did, um, you, you could tell he wasn't bouncing off the walls anymore. If you called him and, and reminded him of doing a, a task, let's say do your homework, clean your room, he would do it. Um, whereas before, it would be a fight, an argument, uh, he forgot or he went outside instead, he was playing basketball or, you know, it was just yeah. an argument, as was a fight, a, con a constant Mama. just frustration Mama. for me because I couldn't do anything for him now after the medication. He's, you know, the, even the teachers have noticed, they, they're telling me, you know, wow, it's, we know when he's not on the medication, we just know immediately because you can tell the difference. So we're working with a company called Achille, A-K-I-L-I. And Achille has developed a digital therapy option. It's based on a video game. It's very high quality, so it looks like a real video game, but it's not a video game. It's a digital therapy option that um, actually kids will, kids, we're developing it for ADHD. It's also being looked at for other conditions such as autism and dementia. But kids with ADHD will play this game, and the theory is you play the game for 25 minutes to half an hour every day for several weeks, and what happens is the game adapts, and so it gets progressively harder and harder, and the way it's training your brain for things like sustained attention and reaction time, and also to suppress inappropriate responses, because kids with ADHD have difficulty predominantly in two areas, and that is in sustaining attention, especially if something becomes routine and not as interesting. And the second area is in something we call response inhibition, uh, or blocking inappropriate responses, moderating how you respond to things. They also have trouble with things like short-term memory, and uh, the game may also help with that as well. So, Mom, um, what do you think of this? It's, it's like a video game, but it was designed by a neuropsychologist uh, and it's supposed to change the pathways of the brain a little bit to allow for more normal behavior without medicine. Mm -hmm. Do you think, are you excited about the chances that it could work? I am because kids love games and there's no, there's no way it could go wrong. There's no kid that's not going to take it. There's no parent that doesn't want their kids not to take it because they know that it's going to be not only good for them, but it's also going to be something that they're going to enjoy. So it's a win-win situation.